Okay, so this is your girl, Sunny Barbosa Reeves, reporting live from um, the highest point of festivity. But I'm not going to say any cuss words because I found Jesus. So, my mother just texted me and called me a nigga. <laughs> Anywho, um, this is what I would like to know. Why 2K, Osiris, father? Before that boy became famous, the father was talking to everybody, repping, um, repping his son with everybody. Oh, Y2K, Osiris, YK, Osiris. <laughs> okay, YK, Osiris, his father. His father was talking to everybody, repping his son to everybody. My son needed to be in the music industry. His father was all for him, supporting him. I mean, his father was making it, um, making it known that, um, Making it known that um that um he needed for his son to be in the music industry, right? But I've been watching um you know his videos and stuff and what's been going on with him lately, and I've been hearing him say why can't Osiris? I've been seeing his videos where he's saying that the music industry is from the devil. It's not of God. You don't need to do it. He don't want to do it no more. Um, he's just doing it to make the money for his family, but he's going to do something else. He don't really want to do it. He made a few videos, you know, um, repping God and saying that he was going to um, give it up, you know, eventually because it wasn't the right thing to do. Right after he started making those videos, I'll say maybe he made about two or three that I that I've seen, I think mean, like three or four maybe. Um, right after that, he wound up going to jail. <clears throat> and they was talking about he bit some broad in the face. Um, and I'm not I'm not calling her a broad, you know, to say like um to not defend women or, you know, to not to act like, you know, to, to act like it's okay for women to be uh, assaulted. But I don't believe that that happened because from what I saw, um, from what I saw, from what I saw, from what, I, shh, from what I saw, um, and from what I heard, um, that incident with the girl happened at his birthday party a while back, um, and they're just now doing something about it just recently, um. If that really would have happened, he would have got in trouble, you know, when it first happened. I don't know, but um, it just doesn't seem like that happened because he seems like a sensible young man. He seems like he's not going to just do something like that. Um, you know, he's not going to just do something like that. He don't seem like that. Um, but... Supposedly, he did this, and they put him in jail. And then he was in jail, and then he got out of jail. And once he got out of jail, he wasn't saying nothing else about God. He wasn't saying nothing else about he don't want to be in the music industry no more. He wasn't saying nothing about none of that. Right after he got out of jail, his aunt died. And the next thing you saw was a picture on YouTube of him standing in front of a, a truck at his aunt's funeral, styling and profiling, but um, saying that, rest in peace, his aunt, she going to be missed. He loved her. But he was smiling. He didn't look sad. He wasn't crying. I mean, where they do that at? So then, um, after that, you just didn't see nothing else from him about God. You just saw pictures of him styling and profiling. I haven't seen any videos of him. I've been still watching for some videos of him talking. Um, I've just been seeing pictures of him come out lately. And um, But the one picture that I did see that um, caught my attention 
was the picture of um, his father's birthday party where his father was partying like it's 1999 with the celebrities and not having a care in the world. Um, you know, he didn't look like he was bothered by his son going to jail or supposedly biting some girl in the face or, um, you know, just, he just looked like he was living it up. Now, my thing is this. Why is it that this man has so much to say before his son got in the music industry? He had so much to say about him getting in the music industry. He was supporting him so much. Now, all of a sudden, that he got the spotlight on him. People talking about uh, Illuminati. Um, you know, he's saying he don't want to do this music mess no more. Um, and he's going to jail. And why? where is his father at? Where is this Negro at? Um, that's what I want to know. Why, why, you, why you haven't said nothing about your son going to jail or biting some girl in the face? Why you haven't said nothing about your son saying he don't want to be in the music industry no more? Why you haven't said nothing about him saying that the, the money come from the devil and the music industry belongs to the devil? Why you ain't saying nothing about that? Where you at, bruh? Show yourself. Because you a lame. You ain't no real parent. You foul. And that's that's plain and simple. Um, the Illuminati is real. And it's real up in the music industry. It's real in the television industry. But you don't have to just um, sell your soul to be on television or to be... Um, in the music industry, you selling your soul if you're doing something more than God, if you're giving something else more of your attention than the Heavenly Father and His Son Jesus, and you don't mind and you cool with that. You could be selling your soul for weed, you could be selling your soul for, for sex, you could be selling your soul for money, you could be selling your soul to do drugs, you could be selling your soul to listen to a certain type of music, you could be selling your soul to watch a certain type of mu uh, movie that you don't want to give up, anything that you put more energy and attention to more than the Heavenly Father, you selling your soul to it, you a slave to it, so we need to be more conscious about what we give more of our energy and attention to over the Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus. Word. So, um, with that being said, this is your girl, Sunshine, Sony Barbosa Reeves, coming to your life. You need to get close to God. You need to get close to His only begotten Son, Jesus. You need to pay attention to what's going on so that you're not going to go to hell in a handbasket. Um, and you need to go to church. Well, if you can find a good church, you don't even go to any church. You have to have church by yourself. You have to read the Bible by yourself to yourself every day. Do what you got to do because the end is near. God is not playing. The most high God is not playing with me. My cousin, my mother, my sister, my brother, my husband, my children, none of y'all. He's not playing. So we need to stop playing with him and give him his um, due respect and his due love and his due time and his due attention before it's too late. For real. I love y'all. I pray. Let's, let's say a prayer. Let's say a prayer right now for YK Osiris. And his daddy, because we know we got to practice forgiveness in, in order to get into heaven. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, asking that you put your hands on YK Osiris, this young minister, Lord God. Heal him, Lord God, from the inside out, Lord God. Help him to find his way out of this mess that his father done help him get into, Lord God. Help him to come to you, Lord God, and to stay with you. Help him to overcome this so-called foolishness called Illuminati. Help him to overcome the stupid, stank, dumb, nasty, filthy music industry. Help him overcome, Lord God. Help him do your will and not his own. I, I, I ask you, Lord God, to send him 12 legions of angels 
Lord God, to battle the enemy on his behalf, to devour the enemy on, him, on his behalf, to bear him up in their hands, lest he dash his foot against the stone. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask you to activate him, Lord God, to do your will and not his own. Activate him to speak your truth, Lord God. Activate him to live your truth in Jesus' mighty name. Lord God, and we pray for forgiveness. For his father, Lord God, we ask that you will forgive us for our sins. Forgive YK Osiris. Forgive his father. Allow his father to see the error of his ways and to come to his senses. Support, support his son like he's supposed to. Um, and stop partying like it's 1999 and realize that we're in the end times. And he need to get himself together and get his family together and stop playing. Okay? In Jesus' name we pray. We love you, Heavenly Father. We magnify your holy name. Amen. All right, y'all. I got to go. Peace.